What's going on YouTube? Geosan right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to unlock an iCloud activated device using KeePass, a software that you can find right here on Starsoft website. So this program allows you to do two different things. At first, you can remove the screen passcode from your device if you forgot it, or you can remove the iCloud activation. In fact, it bypasses instead of removing the iCloud activation. So this can fix the device being stuck on this screen with the activation lock, being stuck on the unable to activate if it's an older device like for example running iOS 12 or so and you cannot activate it anymore and even the lost iPhone mode or of course if you forgot your passcode. This is also rather useful if you cannot activate the phone because you bought it from a different country and it's actually sim card locked and it requires a sim card from that country that you do not have. With this method you can still use the phone although you will not be able to place any calls or receive text messages via a sim card but you can use wireless and applications. There is a free trial available for this program but there is also going to be a coupon in the description down below which as you can see from here it's 30 off dash st which is 30 percent off reducing the price from 36.48 euros for the personal license all the way down to 25.54 and this one includes vat as well since i am in italy so let me show you exactly how you can unlock an icloud activated device with this though there are some limitations you should keep in mind at first you need to be a little bit tech savvy to do this because it requires dual booting to a Linux environment, which is already pre-made for you, but still it requires fiddling a little bit with boot options, boot menus, and stuff like that. They do have all the important information in here on their website. They even have guides in how to boot your computer. And of course you can see exactly in here what you need to do and how to start the removal process and stuff like that. They do have guides step by step, but still if you're not tech savvy, you may need to take a look at the guides first. But there are also other limitations. For the unlock screen passcode, it works with all iPhones, iPad and iPod Touch models starting from iOS 7 or later. But for the remove iCloud activation, it works from the iPhone 5S to the iPhone 10. Some iPads and iPod Touch models do work and you can see all of them in here. The device I'm going to use for testing purposes today is going to be the iPod Touch 6th generation which is all the way down here. And the iOS versions supported are iOS 12 all the way up to iOS 14.8. This at the time in making this video does not support iOS 15. So with that being said, let me show you how we bypass iCloud with this. At first, let me show you that the device is indeed iCloud locked. All right, that does it. It does show that the device is indeed locked. So it's actually quite easy to do. You press here on remove iCloud activation, make sure to connect the device first. And as you can see, it starts detecting something over here. And yes, this is one of the main screens that you're going to see on an iCloud locked device. It may vary a little bit, but it looks like this. You should keep in mind that that the device will be jailbroken and you should indeed read the terms and conditions over in here. It's important to note that this method will not allow you to place any calls or receive any calls on this device. So I'm gonna press start over here. It detects my device. It's an older device but it works just right. You can of course use any of the compatible devices and we just have to press unlock now. And at this point it's going to start loading and it's going to download the jailbreak tool package. This is basically the Linux image that you're going to have to dual boot from a USB flash drive which of course requires a little bit of a fiddly process depending on your computer but I cannot exactly show you how to dual boot your computer because it varies from a computer to another you should check your computer manual or of course google it so now we should disconnect the phone and plug in a flash drive that has basically nothing on it because it will be overwritten all right so as you can see I plugged in a generic flash drive in here with 7.4 gigs in size it should be plenty enough over here make sure you do not have any important data on the flash flash drive because it might get overwritten. I'm gonna press next over here and it says it will erase all the data so we're gonna press OK and it starts installing what we need to have over here. So as you can see it burned successfully the jailbreak environment which is basically a Linux environment with CheckRain and their custom tool on the device. So now basically what we have to do is to follow the jailbreak tutorial which is available on their website. Now you can see here all the info you need to know but yeah it does show exactly every step you have to follow. Now you can see here on their website a couple of the examples for boot menu keys you have to press depending on what desktop or laptop brand you have or various motherboards. This may work for you and these are the most common like F8 or Escape or Delete. But if this doesn't work for you, 
then you should probably look into your manual. What you should see after you press one of these keys after restarting your computer is this select boot devices menu and you should select the USB flash drive and it should boot into something like this, which you're going to have to follow properly. So basically you'd have to connect the device, then you should allow untested iOS and then of course you should skip A11 BPR check. And then of course make sure you press start, next and follow the instructions on the screen. You're going to have to press a couple of buttons like it shows in here depending on your device and once it says all done you should go back to Windows. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and be right back. Unfortunately I may not be able to capture a good quality image because there is no way for my software for recording the screen to work under that and pointing a camera at the monitor may not work properly. But if you want the instructions they are all available in here including the table with the keys you might want to press depending on your device. Definitely check out this guide it's going to be below. I'm gonna go do this procedure over here, boot into check rain and do all the process and then I'm gonna be right back on Windows as you should. Alright so I'm back on Windows, I've done the check rain procedure, I basically follow the tutorial on their website step by step but if you have used CheckRain before it's pretty simple to use and I'm back on Windows to continue the unlock. At this point the device is jailbroken but still on the activation lock because CheckRain doesn't by itself bypass iCloud. So I press remove again in here, we press start again over here after it loads and it should be able to remove the iCloud activation. So I'm gonna press start and as you can see it has detected the device. We press unlock and now we see exactly what's going on. It says removing activation lock this time. We're going to wait for it to complete. It may take a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes depending on your computer and your device. So you can see it's loading and that's basically it. That's the whole process. Alright so as you can see it says iCloud activation is removed successfully. The activation of the original account has been successfully removed. You can now freely access your device with a new Apple ID. Press done and that's it. And now the device is fully working. Let me show you. Alright so as you can see the device is fully functional. You can open Open applications and they would work fine and of course bypassing iCloud worked indeed but you wouldn't be able to place any calls and you wouldn't be able to use a sim card. CheckRain is indeed installed as well and if you want Cydia you're just one step away. It's important to mention though that you're going to have to re-bypass the iCloud every time you reboot the phone. So if you do reboot you're going to have to go through the same procedure again. That's a limitation of CheckRain itself of which this program is based on. So yes this definitely works and you can open applications and use them and stuff like that. On the settings I have already connected it to my network and I'm going to show you the version that I'm currently running. You can see it's exactly the same device as before. It's the iPod Touch 6 generation running 12.5.5 but you can go all the way up to 14.8 if you have a compatible device. iOS 15 not supported. Alright so as you can see that's basically it. That's how you use StarSoft KeyPass in order to unlock the iCloud activation on your device if it's compatible. Definitely check it out in the link below and definitely check out their coupon for 30% off which is 30 off dash ST. You can see that it lowered the price in USD from $29.95 down to $20.96. Now of course if your price is in Euros or if you have to pay VAT or tax this would definitely change. But in USD with no VAT that's basically how it reduces. So thank you for watching, till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.